Welcome back to Sunday School. So glad we're back. This is what we're doing today and let's get started. Dear God, thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you God for everything. Amen. Just a reminder, you guys can use these prayers at the table at night for grace if you guys want to do that. But anyway, we're going to move on to our video from Spark House Digital, so let's watch that now. Okay, Clara, you've missed the last two Sundays, which means you have fallen behind. If you don't pay attention, you'll fall behind even more, and you won't be able to catch up, and you won't understand anything, and you'll fall further behind and... Hey, Clara, do you realize you're using the bulletin from three weeks ago? What? This is the one you just gave me! You asked if I had a bulletin. You didn't say which one. Oh, no! I can't fall behind any further! Well, if you hadn't skipped church... I had a cold! For two weeks? I was visiting my aunt in Wisconsin the week before. Wait, what did Pastor Pete just say? I missed it! What verse are we even on? Philippians 4, 1 through 9, duh. Okay, Philippians 4, 1, 9. Okay, I don't know. I went too far, I went too far. Huh? Huh? Don't worry, Clara. You can use my notes. This doesn't help at all. I'm going to fail Sunday school! Ah! Well, that's it, Clara. You blew it. <sighs> into the worship service, but I'm too embarrassed. I've fallen so far behind in Pastor Pete's sermons, I'm gonna fail Sunday school and get kicked out of the church! Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. But, but wait, that's from the Bible. <gasps> Pastor Pete used it in his sermon. <gasps> I remember Pastor Pete's sermon! Would you like to play dodgeball? What? N no. Maybe I have been too hard on myself. Maybe I should be worrying less and worshiping more when I'm at church. Rejoice in the Lord always. Would you like... You're right, Mr. Terrifying Robot. Worship isn't about having the right answers. It's about coming together as a family to rejoice in God. Would you like to play dodgeball? Uh, no thank you. Hey, Clara. Oh, uh, hi, Leo. I see you've met Pat. Pat? Yeah, it's my latest invention. The Praise and Thanksgiving Robot. But he's got this glitch. I'm trying to figure out why he's so obsessed with dodgeball. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to go back up to the worship service now. Thanks for the advice, Pat. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Would you like to play dodgeball? Fine. Yes, I... Hallelujah. Okay, these are our words that we need to know before... We um, read our story to help understand the um, story. So, we're going to start off with encourage. In to encourage someone, it is like... Um, um, encourage someone is like... Almost like help them believe they can do it. So, help them believe... No, pumpkins are in the way. They can do something. Or inspire them, which means like give them ideas to do something.
and even um, be there for them almost in a way that you help give them courage. Giving them courage is basically what it means. Giving a person courage. So say my sister right here, over here, here I'll draw her. Here. My sister, she doesn't believe she's going to get her spelling test. So she's struggling with her little spelling test here, and she can't do it. She's like, I can't do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I don't need to know these words. And then I would come along over here, and I would be like, you can do it. Don't worry. It's okay. Um, you'll do just fine. You'll do a perfect job. That's encouraging. Anyway, government. They lead us. So, let me just find my good orange. My other orange sucks. <laughs> but, um, our leaders of our country, which you guys will learn more about in school. Dishonor is when you don't honor someone. So, honoring someone is like respecting them, following them, um, appreciate them. Um, is like you don't appreciate them you don't don't appreciate re how do i spell don't appreciate a person or dishonor no honor Opposite of honor, basically. I don't think you guys are actually reading my words, but sorry for the spelling mistakes. Worshipping. I should do that spelling test. <laughs> Worshipping is what we do at church. We worship. Um, it's basically anything to do with God. We worship at church. Um, to worship somebody is like... Um, follow their lead, praise somebody. It's hard to explain, but that's basically what it means. Anyway, let's get on with our story. Paul encourages his friends. Paul loved traveling and teaching about Jesus. He helped early Christian believers create churches together. They wanted to share the good news of Jesus. Some of the government leaders thought Paul was teaching people to dishonor the em emperor by worshiping Jesus. So they threw him in prison. Paul felt lonely in prison. I miss my friends in Philippi, he thought. I wonder how their church is doing. I know, I'll write them a letter. And here's the question down here, who's written you a letter? I know some of my relatives have because they um, need to send, well, they had, they had sent um, a birth card to me and they live far away so they couldn't do it in person. Um, and then your little red guy from your video says, if I were in jail, I would write letters all the time, mostly to help him, help me get out of jail. And I'll show you the picture of the little red guy and the pictures on the right hand side. Dear friends in Philippi, I love you and miss you very much. Do you remember when Odia and Sin Chi Sin Tachi and Kelment and I worked together to teach about Jesus. You wanted to learn even though it wasn't easy. Remind Iuda and Sin Tachi not to argue, but work together when they teach about Jesus. Rejoice, be happy, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Pray like we prayed when we were younger. Prayer will bring into God, into God into your hearts. Remember what I said when I was with you. Think about what is true and fair. Praise God for everything. God is always with you. Your friend, Paul. Paul read, read through his letter again. He didn't feel lonely anymore. He found a way to keep sharing the good news with his friends. And then the little red guy and the yellow girl, I can't remember their names, I wish I did. But... <clears throat> Um, here they say some things, um, of the pronunciation, which I struggled with. So here's what the little red guy says. He said, idea for, um, 
the first name that I said. Cinnamon and Sementine are they girl names? I'm not so sure. And then she says it with the correct pronunciation. You, Odia, and Sintachi were women in the church and Kelment was a man. And here's some pictures. Okay, that is it for our story. Now we are going to be doing a little craft. Okay, this is our craft. I'm gonna be showing you guys the materials as we do it. So, but first you guys are gonna need um, a sheet of paper. Now the one I used was slightly bigger and it was orange colored, but I'll show you guys exact way on how I got three equal pieces just like this in the card shape. So, what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna fold it downward, hot dog style. And make sure this is not, this is uh, thick paper. You want thick paper, otherwise your glue is going to sink right through it and ruin it. So then yeah, once you have a hot dog, so then you can just open it like this. You're going to put it back there. You're going to put in three equal pieces. So when you bend it over, you're going to have to um, try to make it the exact same size as the other square that you see. So then it looks like this. If you need help, get your parents to help you with this. Then, you're going to cut along that fold line, the two fold lines, and there you go, you have your little cards. There's three of them. This doesn't really matter about the size of the paper. The bigger the paper, the bigger the cards. So, I'm not going to use pink, I have my orange ones here. So here's my orange ones, I'm going to take some leaves, now you got to Careful with your leaf choice. If you're going to use dead leaves, real ones, you got to make sure they're more flat like this and not curved like this. Otherwise, this happens. Crunch. How are we supposed to put a crunchy card and stick it down with glue? You could probably figure it out, but I'm not. Um, more bendable ones like this are more better for this craft. Um, but you can also use dead leaves, but try to find flat ones. You guys can also use oak leaves, which I have here, yellow and white and brown, whatever you want. Or if you guys don't want bugs maybe in them or like bacteria in them, you guys can always use fake leaves. And I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of different um, things with that. But we're going to do writing first. So let me show you on the board the format that we're going to be using so you guys can just copy and fill in some little answers to what you guys want. Anyway, let's do those. Okay. So on the front of one of these, so you're going to take it, open it up, put the fold point towards, pretend you have a camera too, you're going to do it towards, and you're going to look right into it just like a book, so you're opening the book. So then that is the front cover, okay? So here is my front cover, and I open the book, so this is your front cover, and you're going to write a name that is, is two. So I'm going to do this, um, let's do my sister. So my sister's name is Charlize. Okay, and I'm just gonna put a heart by her name just cause it's not quite symmetrical and I'm just weird that way. But then it's going to look like this. So you're going to put whoever this card is to, well this letter almost, is to Charlize, my sister. Then you're going to leave it blank up here. Then you're going to open it up. And when I'm looking at it like this, this is what I see, okay? So then I'm going to write, I encourage you to. So right here, it's really big and bold inside this, this red line, and you're going to write, I encourage you to dot, 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 and then you're going to write underneath on the line, okay, in the middle. So, I encourage you to dot, dot, dot. Um, do kind things. Um, do random acts of, ki of kindness. 
do random acts of kindness. Then you're gonna leave it like this. So here's just like this is. You're gonna go, I encourage you to do random acts of kindness and a blank here. Now you're gonna write on this side as big as you want. You're gonna write, I also encourage you to be grateful this Thanksgiving. Okay. I also encourage you to be grateful this Thanksgiving, right? Yes. There we go. And then after that, you're gonna put your name. So I'm sure you guys are all so professional that you guys have your own signature, right? So there's a fake signature. There we go. And you're gonna write your signature there. So now, you're going to go to the front, and you're going to take one of your leaves here. I'm going to do, that's way too big. I'm going to do this one right here, and I'm going to just paste it right on there. So I'm going to take my glue, stick it on there, and go kerplunk. There we go. My leave is placed on there and now she has a little card. Now, I'm gonna do the rest and then show you guys some examples. Okay, my letters are done. Here I have my very first one that I did with you guys. Here's my sister Charlize's. It's tied with a leather strap and you guys know what's inside of it. So, there we go. It has a like a leathery type thing around it. I can't explain it. But then I did one to my mom and dad. Here we go, and then there's a feather inside. Fake feathers. Do not use real feathers. They are full of germs, they're nasty. Same with the leaves, make sure they're clean. Wouldn't recommend using real leaves if you're actually, if they're like really nasty, but anyway. Some fake feathers on this one too, um, all the way around. Okay, so this prayer doesn't make sense for now, but I'm hoping that you guys will say this at the dinner table one day. But, this is what it says. We thank you, Lord, for the food before us, the shelter around us, the family beside us, and the love between us. Amen. So I hope you guys use that prayer, take advantage of it, and let's see your outro. Okay, thank you guys all for coming. I appreciate you guys coming um, and watching my video. Um, thank, you, thank you to each and every one that you did the crafts. Um, some people like these things, some people absolutely hate these things. So if you didn't do it, it's okay. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you guys all next time and have a great Thanksgiving.